What's up guys? It's Mattel Basic Volko and Hammerhead Shark 2 pack from the new Aquaman movie. Let's go! And there they are guys, Volko and his Hammerhead. Although I have to say the Hammerhead Shark does look kind of small, especially compared to the trailer, so maybe he's on a, a baby shark or something. Don't you dare start that baby shark song. Now getting the Shark 2 pack here is the only way that I know of so far to get the basic version of Volko. If you want the multiverse version, you'll have to order it off Amazon because that's an Amazon exclusive. But otherwise, it's a pretty cool set. Now taking a closer look at this Hammerhead here, he actually has some pretty awesome details overall and it's actually pretty soft too everywhere like the head's pretty soft this fin's soft this is soft even these little arm pieces are actually pretty soft and especially the tail so it's it's definitely throw at your your friends friendly now his head here is pretty nicely sculpted it's got some scars molded in there as you can see so he's definitely rammed a bunch of bad guys or a bunch of coral depending on how good of a driver Volko is and the teeth down here though are kind of a let down they're just barely molded and painted so I mean you definitely definitely not gonna scare nobody with those teeth and the upper portion here has some really nicely sculpted armor and reins there although there isn't any paint so that's kind of a let down but I mean it's really nicely sculpted so if you were good with the paintbrush then you could definitely fix that although this top fin here I mean it's nice and soft but it's kind of weird too because it just kind of disappears just like that you know just smacked it in there I don't know if like there was supposed to be glue and the glue came loose or if this is like a safety feature So you don't you know fall on your face and you know poke your nose ball out But yeah, this just it's kind of kind of weird But at least it stays up when you pull it up and the bottom's got a lot more scars So like I said, he's either a battle-worn shark or Volko's a really bad driver his fins here though have some articulation to it So that's pretty cool although they have the legal mobile jumbo on the inside there So it's like yeah legal mobile jumbo and these fins here are just glued on no articulation But they're pretty soft and bendy although the tail does have articulation when you pull it out you see a little joint there and then you can kind of wag it back and forth I mean that's that's kind of cool but I mean the fact that it retracts kind of like so now it's not wagging so it's kind of not the, the the greatest so I'm not sure what you're really supposed to do with this die Brian King and Now as a side note, the back of the box here says that this is not a water toy and that's primarily because of this little spring back here. So honestly though, everything else is good. So if you don't care about the little spring rusting or this little tail feature, I mean, you can dunk this in the water all day long. And moving on to Volko, he's actually a pretty fantastical looking figure. His resemblance to William Dafoe is uncanny, like the X-Men. Wait, what? It's Dafoe? They, not deep. Oh, that's my bad. They really nailed all the contours and his bone structure and all the wrinkles and the paint in the eyes just look great. And he's got some pretty simple hair overall. Nice like details, hair structure, a little ponytail there. Although there is a weird bald spot right there. I don't I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Probably not. And taking a closer look at his body, we get a really sharp and detailed suit sculpt. The texturing and this wicked clean paint job is just impressive. But the coolest part is on the back. Check this out, guys. You see that? Now you see this here, his little blade? What? Dude, look at that. It actually fits in there and it's a nice tight fit too. Look at that, it's so perfect. It's just like, you know, instead of just like, oh, when he's not holding his sword, where do I put the sword? Oh no, I'll just put it down. Oh no, it got lost. Nope, nope, it just sits right back here in his back. And now I can just go whatever, you know, just like and the sword stays because it's slotted right in the back. And it, it's it's like a really tight fit too. Like, look at that, look at that. It ain't, it ain't falling out, it ain't falling out. Uh -oh. But anyways, yeah, it's like really nicely designed and just like take take a closer look at that Look at how it kind of has some openings there It's got a little bit of details there the thing that kind of holds it to make sure it doesn't fall out And it's actually really solidly glued on too, which is great And since we're on the subject of the sword, he's got this awesomely nasty looking sword That's got all this cool details and stuff And I mean honestly it looks so jagged and stuff like if you got cut by this thing It looks like you know, you just get an infection and die or something saying he didn't like stab you through that you know brain or something although as a side note this side of the handle is pretty cool but look at this side they actually sculpted in legal mumbo jumbo i mean seriously like seriously like seriously and it's nice and bendy too with rounded edges so it's poke your eye out safe and going back to the figure we have the awesome looking arms here as you can see pretty much the same as the body with all the sculpting but he's got two open hands here which is nice because he can hold his sword in either hand and his legs have this cool kind of armor scaling here. Looks like fish scales there. And then he's got some harder armor plates there, which is same thing as 
Aquaman here has that armor scaling and it also continues through the back which is looks pretty nice and the sides there and it's actually really soft and super flexible up oh, there go mumbo jumbo but yeah it's really soft and flexible so it allows you to kind of like move his leg up and down so it gives him some nice range of motion then the back flap comes up all the way too although he can't really his butt is too big to move his leg, so that, that makes no difference there. But one thing the flexibility on the back does have is when you bend his legs there, it kind of bends down like that, which allows him to actually sit down on the shark there like that. Because otherwise, if it didn't do that, he'd be sitting like this. Actually, no, if, if it wasn't flexible at all, he'd just be like, uh, not going down. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Uh, nah, nah. And here's a close look at the bottom of the legs for you with the kind of shin guard there. Some more of that texturing across the back and his little kind of water slippers there. And here's the bottom of the feet for you with more Lego Jumbo. Like, seriously, Mattel, like, totally ease up, yo's, on this Lego Jumbo. And for articulation, his head rotates 360 degrees and has a little bit of side to side. Not really, it's actually just flexing. Very minimal up and down, though. Arm rotates, shoulder joint, elbow joint rotation and the hand rotates and also jointed waist swivel and the legs go up not back and knee joint although this knee is really loose for some reason it's actually kind of annoying and here he is next to a quarry man shark size difference you bet. Quite noticeable quality difference too. But then again, this one's only $20 and this one is $30. If you're interested in this bad boy with the little tail here and the opening mouth, you can check out his review right up here. And for some other comparisons, here he is next to the Disney Toy Box, Hulk, the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales, the Justice League DC Multiverse, Mera, the SH Figure Arts Infinity War, Iron Man, the Aquaman movie, Brian King from the Brian King 3-pack that also comes with Orm, and Aquarium Man. And here's a closer look at the packaging that he comes in as well as the UPC. Well guys, this is another great Aquaman figure from Mattel. But that's not really a surprise considering the awesomeness of the other ones I reviewed. And it's nice to be reviewing Aquaman toys again, especially since the movie is starting to get some rave reviews, meaning it's probably gonna be pretty awesome. And some of you have asked when I would be reviewing more Aquaman toys. In fact, Max Studios and Lionsgate Black Label here had a nice little conversation about it a few videos ago. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Anywho, more Aquaman toys as well as other awesome toys are on the way, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see those and thanks for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace